For our first guest here on Hollywood on Top, we have got someone very special for you. She's a case-cracking, hard-hitting detective from Fox's hit show, Lethal Weapon. Welcome, Michelle Michener! I need you to teach me because I'm a bit old school. I'm a bit jazz hands and all that. Oh, yeah? Oh, I, can, I can get you with a two-step or a little dab. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'd look like a dad at a wedding, I think. She gets artificially inseminated. Like you and, do. Yeah, you know, like, listen, next time you go to the gynecologist or your sister. I'll think about that next mom, time I'm there. Maybe you don't want to go there. But... <laughs> I'm Dita Von Tees. Hello. Hi. How are you? You're Hi, making me you. feel instantly glamorous. <laughs> Please welcome Jocko Sims. Good to see you. Good to meet you. Thanks for coming. Yes, take a seat. Absolutely. Take a seat. Thank you. I love the digs. I know. It's not Thank about you. you, is it? This is nice. This is beautiful. The Hollywood sign right there. Yeah. This is like the highest spot in Hollywood. Morning, Lorraine. They're always rolling a red carpet out somewhere in Hollywood, aren't they? Taylor Swift moved on swiftly, uh, but now Cal <laughs> it looks like Calvin has his whale. Yeah, well, apparently uh, on Snapchat, he has been pictured with lots of gorgeous brunette beauties, basically, um, on a yacht in Mexico. I just don't know whether to believe any of it, to be quite honest to you. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm with you on that one, love. It's really hard to know what, what is spin and what is true. I agree. <laughs> in the world of I politics agree. and in the world of showbiz. Thank you very much. Great to of talk course. to you. Hope to talk to you real soon. James McCourt is in LA for us with the latest. So, what? don't smile, James. It's not a happy occasion. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a lovely taste. Sorry. But this is not Sorry. the time. <laughs> uh, so what have they said? And I tell you what, I felt a little bit old, I have to say, when I realised there was an award for best selfie taker. I mean, where's it all going to end? <laughs> Um, it's got to have been something pretty serious in my mind for the plane to have to make an emergency landing. And it was quite close to his home as well. So, you know, maybe he had breathing difficulties and they were worried, you know, he might go into cardiac arrest or something. Who knows? We don't know at this point. But just to say he's got the flu, let's make an emergency landing. The two don't seem to marry for me. No, I don't know. they something really don't. Is, is You're right about right. that. You're right about that, James McCourt. I did everything that I would tell everyone else not to do. And we spent every minute, every hour of every day together from day one. And you would imagine it would go horribly wrong because we didn't know each other, but we've stayed with 15 years together, so, you know, I That's think for some years. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm honestly the world's worst cook, and I don't just say that because I'm here for effect, I'm really... I have heard. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not the best, it has to be said. I spill the royal tea for you. Okay, That's why I'm spill here. it. Yeah. I think it's going to be a name that no one is thinking about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Probably not Trevor, her ex-husband's name. Probably not. <laughs> if we can strike that one off the list. James McCord has been covering the royal family pretty much his whole life. So, James, let's get right to it. Apparently, it was in a little cottage in Wales. They did the pregnancy test, found out she was pregnant, cooked a shepherd's pie, <laughs> very British, and had a night in. It's definitely going to be a transition period. Um, and at this point, as of today, after the summit, we still don't really know any no. details. So, you know, we're all a little bit in the dark. Uh, <laughs> it's going to take some time to adjust uh, for everybody, yes. including, I'm sure, the royal family as yes. well. The Queen would agree with you. <laughs> so, yeah. so, it would be nice to have, like, maybe a blessing over here or yes. something like that. An engagement party. Yes. Let's start at your house. <laughs> James Let's McCord, <laughs> Royals expert, a delight to have Everyone's you. Everyone's welcome. Everyone's welcome. Bring your own champagne. And James McCord in Los Angeles. He's a royal expert and also an entertainment correspondent. So, James, how has the reaction been? I think everyone's impressed at the speed of this, don't you? They've only been married for five months, and uh, she's just <laughs> had a 12-week scan. So, you know, you do the math there. <laughs> they worked pretty quickly, didn't they? What do you make of the American fascination with this and all the Americans trying to do British accents? <laughs> like you guys were just Hello. Hello. Yeah, a little break there. I think when you do a, a British accent, it tends to go a bit Mary Poppins. It's like, hello, governor. <laughs> but, but I like it. Jim, Jim. It's Come the on. Sussex standby, I'm calling it today. <laughs> well, yeah, it, it is breaking news. Um, literally just been announced that Prince Harry now will not go to the Netherlands for two days next week. I think Charles has just got that slight awkward word way about him, doesn't he? Having grown up with a team of nannies, you know, not having this kind of very loving environment that obviously Kate and William's children have. And, and he's had a few have. wrinkles in his life. And he's got Camilla. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so there's that. Let's be honest. Yes.